So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for our lifting mechanism. We've decided that we're just going to go for the uh, the one zone one ten point hang, and uh, we've got this bar here to try to determine what our center of gravity is. So when we lift up on it, um, we actually have a pretty well balanced robot. Uh, and what we're thinking is that because this is a right about thirty degrees, we're going to just have uh, a, a, sorry thirty inches. Um, we're going to have two hooks that are sitting right on the post and then we're going to winch them back with the same gearbox that we're using for our indexers. We're going to put a, another PG mount here, gear it up, and then just pull it down. Come in, hook, and then pull it up and we're just hoping that the, the whole robot will slide up and uh, we think we can get it right. So that's our idea for the uh, lifter and we've got about 12 hours to figure it out. What I'm doing now is creating CAN cables. Uh, we use CAN cables to communicate between the toucan and the canopied. Uh, if you're using the FRC system, you're going to be using it to communicate to your Jaguars. Um, the first step we need to do is go ahead and cut the cable. If you've got a normal phone cable or a four-wire cable, uh, the next step is strip that cable using maybe automatic strippers or uh, anything that you may have available. Be careful not to pull the wire or cut the wires while you're stripping it. Uh, the next step is just to take a uh, crimping tool that you're going to have to get at Radio Shack. Uh, it's an Ethernet or PJ11 crimper tool. Uh, Radio Shack and others have it. Uh, and just crimp the connector on once you slide it in. It's just that easy. idea for a lifting mechanism. Um, we've got these two arms here that are gonna they're gonna pivot forward. This will be their starting position and when the robot drives up to the bar the bar ends up right about here and so it'll come down and grab the bar and then lift the robot and the, what's gonna pull these is we're gonna put together a winch in here. It just happens to be really convenient that our Modulox channel has enough space and was already here uh, that we can put another uh, PG188 motor here and build a, uh, a spool and make a winch that's going to have cables running forward to a plate that will be welded connecting these two hooks. So that when that cable gets, uh, gets wrapped up on the spool, it'll pull these forward and, and lift the robot up just a couple inches off the ground. Uh, we were just checking our CG. Once we get there, we're actually pretty well balanced. We've positioned our battery to help us float in the air, and uh, we're getting about two inches of clearance, so that should be good for ten points.